Hey guys, Kyle here. Today we're going to do some cam follower regriding. This is a service that I do offer. Um, I do Triumphs and BSH for $20 each. Um, so a customer sent me in two lifters and uh, basically what I was doing uh, is inspecting them. I put some red dye or magic marker on the end of the pad, the Stellite pad. So we kind of get an idea when we're regrinding them of the wear patterns and as far as how the new radius is coming into effect. So um, anyways, in this video, we're going to show that and I'm doing a voiceover, as you can clearly see. Um, so let's go over some of the details that I'm doing. All right, so first things first, um, I am going to clean the magnetic chuck. Got to make sure that there's no burrs, there's no chips, there's no dust, no debris at all. Um, I did regrind the magnetic chuck uh, a, few, a few months back and it was flat within like a tenth or two. So it's pretty well set up. Um, off camera, I did redress the stone. Um, so obviously you guys aren't seeing that here. So the stone is nice and true. Um, again, I'm cleaning the bottom of the spin index that I'll be using, which is a fixture that I made uh, to be able to um, regrind the cam followers. So the next thing that we have here is a height gauge. And the height gauge is going to do a couple different things. It's going to find the center line of the spin index uh, based off the, the table itself or the chuck. And it's also going to help us find the radius that we need to grind it to. So right here, you're seeing me zero out the, the gauge or the tool on the magnetic chuck. So we're going to zero it out, make sure the indicator is reading zero. Then we're going to find the center line. So I believe I was pointing to it. I think it's uh, two and three quarters. If you zoom in, you can see it. So two and three quarters from the base of the spin index to the center, let's say where the Allen screw is, that is going to be the center line. Anything above that will be the radius that we have to set the gauge to. So I have the cam follower inserted in my fixture and I'm going to set the uh, gauge, the height gauge, uh, two inch and one eighth, which is 1.125. Now the lifters that I have supplied by the customer um, are three quarter. So he wants to change a radius from three quarter to inch and one eighth. Um, so I have to set that up on the gauge and uh, represent that. Now the video is not going to get into detail as far as how I set it up, um, but the cam follower itself um, I use the high gauge to make sure that the, the, the flats of the follower are parallel to the table. So if they're parallel to the table, that means the pad is going to be perpendicular to it, which it needs to be. Now, most of you guys that are working on Triumphs or even BSAs, if you put a cam follower in the Tappa Block housing, uh, you will see that the cam follower is allowed to move from not side to side, but it can rotate um, you know, with some play there. That does help and allow the pad itself, the Stellite pad, uh, to properly center itself on the cam lobe, assuming that your tappet block is squared away. Anyway, so that's that. Um, what I'm doing right now is, since I've set the cam follower up at the desired inch and the eighth radius that the customer wants, I'm basically sweeping back and forth underneath the wheel. Um, I spent a lot of time finding the proper wheel, you know, the correct grit, things of that sort, to make sure that we get a really good finish and also remove material. So again, just cleaning the magnetic chuck, and right now we're going to check what our current radius is. Uh, most of the time when I'm working uh, with something that is going from three quarter to an inch and an eighth, if I set it up, let's say, you know, slightly over inch and an eighth by a few thou, um, you're gonna have to remove so much more material from the three quarter to make it an inch and an eighth. So basically right now we have the, we have the proper, I wanna say the proper radius, but we, we're close to it and we're using the high gauge to measure exactly what we have. Now, I don't know, I don't think the camera is gonna be able to zoom in on that, um, but the radius, again, we need to be 1.125. It came out to like 1.113. So we're clearly below that, which is fine, but we've changed the actual overall radius from three quarter and we're closer to inch and eighth. So I'm checking this now. I'm gonna be checking the lifter and then we'll loosen the lifter, we'll get it squared up and then um, we're gonna check it again. So it's kind of like our first grind to get us halfway there, and then we're gonna finish up the other part as well. All right, so I did that off camera, got it set up, and we got it right underneath the grinding wheel here. And I'm just lowering the hand wheel slightly so we can get it to barely touch off. Now I did put some magic marker on the end of the camshaft follower 
uh, so we can actually see where the witness marks are when we grind it. Um, also off camera, like I said, the radius is 1.125. I raised the lifter to 1.127. So we have about two thousandths of material to take off and that will get us at the proper inch and an eighth. Um, as far as tolerances go, I usually try to shoot between one to two thousandths would be totally acceptable. Um, so basically, uh, if you look at the hand wheel, my left hand, I'm moving the table in and out and that allows me to properly grind the entire the entire surface of the cam cam follower pad. Uh, if for some reason the the wheel the stone is not true, we can um, basically correct that by moving the table in and out. So if there's any higher low spots on the wheel itself, so I'm just doing some final passes here. Make sure that we're getting a really good finish and make sure that the pad is being ground all the way true from one side of the pad to the other. All right, so let's do our final check. Again, it's inch and an eighth, 1.125. Um, again, just as a reminder, if you guys have any trying for BSA cam followers, quarter inch to three eighths stem, um, I can do any radius, three quarter to inch and an eighth. Um, I do charge $20 a lifter. So we're going to go ahead and change the camera angle here and the indicator or the high gate says 1.125. So we'll get these packaged up and ship them back to the customer.